My grocery bill in Jamaica has literally doubled in the past year or so, and honestly, we need to talk about it. Prices are sky high for everything from gas to bills and especially food. So today, I'm taking you grocery shopping in Montego Bay, Jamaica to show you the cost of living here in 2023. Welcome on guys, my name is Kay. Welcome to another episode of My Jamaica Diaries. This will be a two-part video showing specifically my cost of living in Jamaica. And for part one, we're highlighting the cost of grocery shopping. For me, this will include food to toiletries and a few miscellaneous items. I know I have some international subscribers out there and the Jamaican diaspora. So I'll be quoting the cost in Jamaican and US dollars for you to do your own basic comparison if you'd like. You ready? Let's go. All right, guys. So today I'm with Britt. Hey, guys. And we're at my supermarket, which is Progressive Foods. Do you use the PG, PGJ? I do. I usually get either the TGJ or the A7, the tall A76. So Progressive is like a one-stop shop. I can get everything in this supermarket. Or sometimes I get my fruits and veget vegetables from the market. Like I'd ask my dad to get it for me. But because I've moved a little further away from him, I haven't done that in a minute. Yeah. Most of the time, I just grab everything from progressive hey guys i keep this like supermarket list on my phone there's a run through of it but it's pretty much the same every month i'll check off what's completed as i go along i do have some stuff already stacked at home so i'm not getting everything this one that's like, crazy have you ever tried that because mm. that's really good which one the honey bunch of the almond ones these are really good i mean i like them but i, I don't love them Okay, so I'm gonna put back this That's since crazy. I'm getting the current. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> sometimes I do cereal like the um the Cheerios, and sometimes I do corn flakes. It depends on what I want. Also, guys, the market is much cheaper, by the way, to get the fruits and veggies. Of course, the local market. This is convenient because you get everything here. So I usually do like one month worth of shopping. This, this applies to me. I know everybody's is different, but yeah, this one applies to me. But this is for like, even though I say I do a monthly shopping, I usually have to come back anyways after like two weeks and get a few items. It's the only one that you see here. Yeah. The instant ginger tea, guys. I usually get there's this one I usually get in New York. I wish I could find it here in Jamaica. It's so good, it's really strong. But this one isn't bad, so yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, so this is, is $392. I'll give you the total at the end of the video. So, and the current rate is what? $155. Bruh. So, it is? Yeah. Yeah. At times, she want times. $676. No, girl. It's divine. Six. <laughs> Cut that part off. <laughs> that's $2.52. That's too much money for tea. Like, well, yeah, it's a any habit. Products, I don't know why I do this. You it's, just do the circle. It's a habit. I don't know. Call me OCD. That's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> OCD. Who reaches the end of the aisle and turn back to the, the other side? I do. This is for the lizards who like to stand outside my door. That's and await me. 540. 540? Mm-hmm. Point zero five divided by one fifty five. I know it's divided, girl. <laughs> Sorry, because the last time you tried to multiply, so no, I didn't. Yes, you the did. The phone, you know, the auto three dollars and forty nine cents. Three dollars and forty nine cents for this. Yeah, let's remember for sure what you be please. You things. have bowl cleaner. I'll use this one. Yeah. So this one is for three hundred and eighty-two dollars seventy-seven cents. That's about two two dollars fifty cents. Two dollars forty-seven cents. Okay, I was close. This is my favorite aisle. Noodles! Exclamation mark! <laughs> Let me put you guys on, even though I'm sure you guys know about. Ever since these came on the market, Bulldog Ramen. I don't know what this is. I don't know what these taste like. But these are so good. <sighs> Listen, the first time I had it, I almost cried. So what I, I normally do is I get it was the same brand. 
what maru chan yeah this and this yeah. yeah i didn't notice yeah oh wow. so i'll take the this is the hot chicken flavor and i get a double spicy i like to get the quattro cheese i like to get the cheese and the quattro cheese black bean sauce korean black bean sauce is really good how many are you getting? Ten? Six. One time I was stuck on these. Like I'd take them to work because they're so quick and easy. But now, Boulder has stolen my heart. Use the 47 or the 53? Since you bought mostly. Yeah, use the 53. Mm -hmm. $2.64. $2.64. For my peeps in the States who buy these, because I know that they're on the international market. I've seen them all over TikTok. Everybody posts them. What is the cost for it over there? Hi, baby. Oh, hi. You're so cute. <laughs> All right, so I need a tortilla. You need. I have coconut. I, have I don't see rice on your list. It should be jasmine rice. For oh, jasmine, I was looking at rice. This is the one I normally get. I've never seen this one. Okay, it's really good. Like rice and flour, those type of stuff. Flour. Yeah, long. Last me long. The rice was five forty nine, so that's about three dollars something. You know, you know. Vegetable oil. I said the old man bring just a look my in the shots. Like I say, I need just a look without hesitation. I need just a look with that in the kitchen. Why and not buy regular crackers from Jamaica? I do buy regular crackers. But why this one? What's the difference? This one tastes good with tuna. It tastes good with pear. They're an alternative to bread. And them don't make you feel bloated and puffy. So I like so these. healthy. Walker's wood salmon gundi. And no, the, the water crackers. That's where the water crackers come in. Yeah. This goes well with the rice crackers. And the salmon gundi goes well with the water crackers. That's it. what I use a lot guys. Tomatoes, plantains, potatoes. I cook those more often. I cook those more often than the rice on the floor. But I love me some plantains. Nothing like plantains. Are you Jamaican if you don't like, like plantains? <laughs> Are you, Are you even, even? Are you even Jamaican? This is what I love. I got the banana, I got the plantain, I got the peppers, cotton swab, deodorant. That is a healthy it's snack. Healthy. That is a healthy <laughs> snack. Popcorn is only this one is healthy. healthy. This is healthy. This is healthier less healthy. than some. <laughs> less <laughs> this healthy. <is> less. <laughs> You got, got a discount? Oh, okay. So that's two hundred and eleven dollars and seventy-two cents. So that was two hundred and eleven dollars, thirty-two thousand Jamaican dollars. That's just me getting some of my thing, not everything, because I didn't get milk, pork, some of the stuff on my list that I already have at home. These days, it will come up to like maybe. Thirty-eight to forty thousand dollars, but there's a new one in Fairview, and they're very convenient. And I like it because the Chinese shops here are usually in town, where you don't get parking, and it's a hassle to get through to them. But this one is in Fairview, very convenient, good parking, spacious inside, so you can move around freely. But the most important part is you get stuff at more affordable prices there. So I'm headed over there to get a few things from my supermarket list that I didn't get in Progressive. They say a real Chinese man shop. Jesus, <laughs> New workers needed. TRN, Yeah. Because there's 10 in the red, but the, the green. green one. Yeah, girl. We give us a cotton swab. It's our owner. 
That's what I want. It was just two. <gasps> yeah. You bought it in here? Yeah, I did. Oh, I thought one. it was done. Bah. No. <laughs> what? Moody. <laughs> Another day. Take me with you. <laughs> Take me with you. Okay, come on. <laughs> $1,020 for. Maybe? Yes. <laughs> Everybody knows when you go grocery shopping, you don't go home and cook. You no. get a party. Nobody does that. You buy food. After all that work, who has the energy to go home and cook? Party. Run on party more food. So guys, there has been a bird shack by Ironshore. And this is their newest location at Barnet Tech. The sandwich is bomb. And this location has dining. guys that was part one of our cost of living in jamaica with a highlight on grocery shopping as i mentioned at the beginning of the video that was focused on my grocery shopping list that was today's total i'll put it on the screen here sometimes it goes higher maybe 250 dollars because i didn't have everything on the list i hope you guys got a little insight on what it's like shopping here in ja for part two i know what i'm going to focus on but i want to ask you guys to leave your comments on what you'd like to see in part two of this series. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Also click the little notification bell to get notified when I post the other video. I'll see you guys next time.